right, Ed. Hey, this is my uh, my podcast, my second attempt at the podcast. This is uh, by no means professional, as uh, I think you'll find out right away. <laughs> fun. Yeah, with my basement recording. Uh, last week I did a Zoom video with my buddy Ed. This is also Ed. I don't want to give out any last names here, but <laughs> and this is definitely something different uh, compared to a Zoom recording because uh, you know I got to make sure the lighting's right, and I'll edit this with cap cuts and see how it comes out later on. So yeah. Sounds good. So uh, yeah, so here we are, Jet fans. What are we drinking, Ed? Oh God. I think we're drinking. Cheat. You can cheat. Oh, what are we drinking? <laughs> oh, we're drinking. We're drinking uh, Johnny Walker 18, which is uh, I think platinum now or something like that. There you go. Cheers. So good. All right. Oh, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the Jets. I was at the game last week. Well, I'm sorry, not last week. Was in two days. Monday ago. night. Monday night football. Yeah. Uh, it was the best experience of my life. Uh-huh. Uh, because of the fact that we were celebrating Aaron Rodgers and the season opener, and then all of a sudden it went down to our season's over. There's no more Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> and we can't score a touchdown. Yeah, and then it went to like we have a chance to win this game, like uh, impossible. Yeah. And then the way the game was won with that kickoff, uh, it was just an unbelievable experience for me. Yeah. So I'm glad I got to experience it. And you watched the game on TV. I watched it on TV <laughs> by myself, and I was putting my hands up. Uh, every time uh, it was a good play, every time it was an interception, it yeah. <laughs> uh, So, so what do you think? What's your opinion about this whole Aaron Rodgers situation? Going oh forward? my God! I think this was the most depressing win in Jets history. Right? <laughs> That's what we say it. Right? It's so yeah. exciting that we won a game, but yeah. we we lost the best quarterback probably we've ever had. Well, that we've never had. I was going to say. We never had. We were going to hope that that was going to be the case. Oh, my God. You know, I look at it like, you know, this, this, now being a Jet fan, we kind of expect this. So <laughs> the two <laughs> things I look at is this could have happened the last game of the season as they were headed to the playoffs. Like, that would be another Jets luck thing that would happen, you know. Uh, so, and then the other thing is, as a Jet fan, I'm kind of like, well, now we're not supposed to win the Super Bowl. Like, I'll relax a little bit and not worry about too much what my wow. other friends are going to say, the anti-Jet fans, they're going to right. jump all over every time we lose a game. So, you know. All, all I know is, I don't know any other organization that has had a veteran quarterback come in and lift us up, and everyone says, oh, you guys are like favorites to go to the Super Bowl or win the Super Bowl, and they both pull out their Achilles. The first game, sure. in the first quarter, it's a curse. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah. it's a curse. Yeah, I mean, at some point you have to just like laugh at it. it it's, you know. it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I, well, you know, I mean, for me, just get back to my experience, like, that was really, you know, crazy how that happened. I agree. But the, the last time I went to a Jet home opener, it was against the Patriots with Zach Wilson controlling four or five interceptions. Uh, yeah. You know? Right, so right. this is just a little off topic of the injury. But just to get back to the Jet game, I went to one night. You know, I didn't want to leave there with a loss again, right. especially bringing my son with me, you know, so I was really fulfilled by that incredible win. Mm-hmm. That could definitely last me a long time into the season, so we'll see what happens though, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I mean, uh, that's how like you were saying, that's how yeah, Jeff yeah, good, right? the, uh, I remember watching, Eddie was at that game, wait, 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 wait. which one? With the Achilles, no, not that, you at the Jack was with me. I was at both. Yeah. Oh, you went both? I was at both. I was at the game that we beat the Jaguars and went to the AFC Championship game, and Dave actually has the paper, which is yes, un- I this. unbelievable <laughs> that the, he has the paper. What's the date on there? It's oh, January something. Yeah, it's got to be January, right? January 11th. 1999. 1999. Yeah, I saved the paper just to show what a real Jeff fan I am because if <laughs> Aaron Rodgers was still on the team and they were winning, right. a lot of people are going to accuse us of being bandwagon Jeff fans. Well, you talked about how electric the stadium was. Yeah. And, was. and I was saying at that game, it was five minutes, got up and got the entire place quiet. And yeah. then got the entire place to go J E T S Jets 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 and it was eighty thousand people at once. Yeah. It was it was incredible. Yeah. And then we, we lost that championship game to the Broncos and the next year we're the favorites. And I'm at the game. And me and my friend Bob were watching and Vinny goes down and I was like, Who is that? And he said it's Vinny. I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> So it's funny because my, you know, we remember these things like, yeah. like that's, you know, with that hardcore Jet fans, almost unfortunately. But I was watching the game on TV with my wife, 
And that happened, and I said, the season's over. Yeah. I said, what do you mean? I'm like, no, the season's over, that's it, it's done. <laughs> that was it. So, you know, the thing is, uh, you know. I think we actually went to the playoffs that year, though. Even with all the different quarterbacks we had coming in. Yeah, well, we had Bill Parcells as a coach, which yeah. is a big thing. Which is a big thing. Yeah, you know, people don't realize how important it is to have a good head coach, but being a Jet fan with Bill Parcells as a head coach was a big difference it because was, they had no business good. even winning, having a winning season that year. No, you know, no, it came out of nowhere. Yeah, you know. Uh, but yeah, so basically, you know, I, I think, you know, we expect a lot of things from Aaron Rodgers. Now we have to go forward. Zach Wilson is going to get, I think, hopefully his final attempt. Well, I, I always ask. say, like, whether it's, you know, I used to say it about the team, but I can say it about Zach Wilson right now. I, I told Eddie before about the team. Either suck or do really good. <laughs> because if you're just mediocre, you're going to continue the next, yeah, but, next but year. You know what? What we need from Zach right now? If, if our defense is legit defense, like mm -hmm. the 85 Bears and the, and the 01 Ravens, mm -hmm. then we need him to be Trent Dilfer. Yeah. And just not make mistakes. Just manage the game, take what, what the, yep, the other defense is giving you, don't make that big mistake, don't put our defense in, in a bad situation, mm -hmm. and ride it out. We got a great running game, we got great receivers. Yeah. The offensive line hopefully will come together a little better, and if he can do that, we can go far. I, I agree. I mean, you know, like I guess with Aaron Rodgers looking at that Buffalo game, which they kind of imploded a little bit anyway. Uh, like we barely won that game. When Aaron Rodgers played with him like twenty points, right. you know, and once he got going. Well, well, you were at the game, and I was listening to it, and Troy Aikman was talking about Garrett Wilson mm -hmm. being singled up mm -hmm. against. It wasn't even um, Jadavius White. It was somebody else. He's like, he doesn't have a lot of experience. He goes, he should be checking to him all the time. Yeah, and he yeah. goes. I he goes. I have to believe that if it was Aaron Rodgers in there, he would have been checking to it all the time. Yeah. And then you said that that the uh, the touchdown pass was actually notable. Yeah, the touchdown right. pass to uh, to Garrett Wilson was uh, all Zach Wilson and Garrett Wilson doing. You know, Hackett actually well, called a running play. It was actually all Garrett Wilson. Well, it was all Garrett Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. But you <laughs> know, I, I made a list prior to this little interview here. You know, you mentioned Trent Dilfer, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And you also have uh, Brad Johnson for the Super Bowl in Tampa Bay. Against the Raiders. I'm sorry. No. Uh, 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 Rich Cannon. I got Brad Johnson on here. What the hell? Yeah, that was Rich Cannon. Yeah, and we also have Jeff Hostel with the Giants, who was like no superstar. He won with Bill Parcells as a right. coach in a winning Rich, game. Rich Cannon was actually with um, the Raiders. The Raiders. Yeah, this right. is Brad Johnson. Right? Was, was it Brad Johnson was there? Quarterback? Yeah, I didn't know either. I just cheated oh my God. up before. Yeah, yeah. And he, well, even Rich Cannon got the Super Bowl. That's right. another right. point. Right. 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 Yeah. You know. So like now like this, and I'm a big Zach Wilson fan. So you're talking to the right person here. But I agree, there's no excuses now. There's I don't no know. excuses. Well, you lose. And you know what's funny? Now I got to watch the game. What makes you a big Zach Wilson fan, really? Well, uh, to me, he hasn't done anything yet. No, he hasn't. But I was a big Zach Wilson fan before he didn't do anything. Because because of like I saw his film and I saw how he throws the ball and the the, the combine well, I, and then I hear people. Like Chris Sims say how great he yeah, is. I even hear Aaron Rodgers in the draft, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear Aaron Rodgers before he was on the Jets saying the kid can really you know spin the ball. So but he had some boneheaded things going on, hopefully. I, yeah. I don't think he was mature enough. He definitely wasn't yeah. mature enough. And and the biggest issue when he first you know, his first year mm -hmm. was rookie quarterback, rookie head coach, rookie offensive coordinator. Yeah, but so I, there was no also, sense of stability then. There was no words of wisdom for him to rely on. Something else I believe happens to the extent where he couldn't throw like a five yard out. Right. right. And, and people compare it like the Chuck Darblock thing with Jay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's something happened, like this kid plays from high school to college, you know, all of a sudden he well, can't throw a quick pass. Well I think what happened was when you get to the pros, they want you to be fundamentally sound. Mm -hmm. And he probably didn't have great mechanics all through college, all through high school. He relied on his arm strength, his athletic ability. But when you get to the pros, it's not enough. Yeah. So yeah. they're working on, so now instead of him just reacting, he's thinking, oh my feet have to be set, my hips have to turn, my shoulder. All right, these right, things right. have to and happen. The pressure of right. sure he For me to drive that yeah, ball yeah, yeah, on yeah. the out, and then he's just throwing it over guy's head. Yeah. You know, yeah. but that stuff that comes with repetitiveness, you know? Yeah, or with Aaron Rodgers hopefully helping him out. Exactly. Exactly. Aaron Rodgers is there. Well, if you he saw our knocks, he did tell him. He, did, he was showing him some things, mm -hmm. even when he was resetting. Like, like if, if you if you watch it, Aaron Rodgers was like, okay, that's what's that here. He goes, you got to reset and come back here. 
instead of being off balance and trying to just chuck it and make all these crazy throws. Well, so hopefully Aaron Rodgers sticks around. Even I think he will. Right? I think he will because he's seen according to Hard Knocks, he was into the whole team thing and stuff. And he really fell in love with these Jet players. I think he's going to be in the, the meeting rooms and stuff. And hopefully, oh, that's important you know. because Zach needs. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm watching the game on DVR, and part of me says you start thinking about like quarterbacks being like I'm the man and right. maybe a little bit selfish, why not? The first play, and I'm only saying this I know because I have to watch it. The first play for scrimmage was a 26 yard run with Price Ball. Right. After that, how much is size to pass, pass, yeah. pass, and then again, you know, whatever. Right, right. Like, what? Why, why didn't you go back to it again, right? You know, like, yeah. what's the hubby? And then I heard something today about Hackett, or I think Salah was saying how, like, you know, the game plan was about a three, uh, uh, three, three receivers. Oh, okay. Uh, three receiver sets, right. you know, whatever. Like, he wanted to, he really wanted to make a statement, you know, whatever. I'm sure. Yeah, he wanted to show he still got it. He's in the new place. He's gonna he's gonna take us where we want to go. Yeah. Um. You know, you wouldn't think someone you know 18 years in the league and five time MVP and Super Bowl champ has anything to prove. Yeah. But yeah. going to a new place, he probably felt a little bit like I want to show that I you know what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. It was. It was <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you something. I'm really so like now currently as we sit here today, I don't think the season's over. You know, I I do believe in these. Trent Dilfer, uh, right. you know, uh, Brad Johnson and Jeff Hollis and Superbios where, you know, now I'll take that. I'm still looking for, as a Jeff, I'm looking for a long term, you know, whatever. Right. But we're going to find out pretty quick, I think, in yeah, Dallas. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to find Even out. Even if we quick. lose, how we lose. Right. Did we score three touchdowns? Did we only score two field goals? Did the defense hold them to, to hold Dallas at 10 points or 13 points, you know, whatever? And they're going to make some adjustments. That was Zach Wilson with the full week of practice. He didn't get the right, you know, whatever. Right. So I'm not... I, well, there's a lot of things to address. Like, the, again, you didn't listen to the, to the broadcast. Mm -hmm. They were talking how, you know, Aaron Rodgers has a certain cadence mm -hmm. and the way he, you know, gets his line set and mm -hmm. when he wants the ball and when he's trying to draw the defense offsides and all these mm -hmm. things. And they haven't done that the whole season, the whole off season with Zach, right. a little bit. Right. So that's why the first couple of series they seemed out of sync. Yeah. So yeah. we got to get that, like all these little nuances that you know, are coming to play. I also look at things, Ed, but like you would think, like for the people out there, think Zach Wilson is like tremendous. You would think that Hackett, Sala, Rogers would say, "Listen, this guy is not a good quarterback." He really so you would think like uh, yeah, yeah like like right. I, there was a guy on the Jets I don't remember his name from Penn State oh that they drafted just recently no no he was a big guy a while back Hackett something I the guy oh yeah um, um but Hackenberg Hackenberg yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, and some of the plays they said we heard some of the plays that he couldn't hit a, 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 an ocean <laughs> whatever you know so like so, so you kind of know ahead of time like right, you know right, whatever right. but nobody's saying like Zach Wilson sucks in practice so he's doing something right. I, I, okay, I get, I get that. But it's got to translate to the field. It does, it does. Get, you know, you could be a superstar in practice. You, know? you, you got to do something when the, you know, yeah. when the other team's coming after you, they're not holding back. Yeah. You know, your defense is holding back a little bit because they don't want to hurt you. They don't want, you know. So you got to be, you got to face the fire. You got to be calm under pressure. Which brings me to, speaking of Zach Wilson, is I'm a very big, unlike other people, I'm big preseason football fan. Yeah, because I know, I, because I, so now let's first start off with Zach Wilson in preseason. I'm going to tell you something I wasn't impressed at all. Mm -hmm. I believe if you're really good, and especially as Zach Wilson, he should be Lighten chucking the ball right. over the place against second and third string defenses. So I didn't really see that happening, whatever. Well, as long as he's in there with the starters. Yeah, but a year for prior though also. Right. He but he, he threw a pick and he, but, got, he got hurt. But like, again, the year prior was still second year offensive coordinator. Second year had still no. Yeah, but as a Jet fan, like. Still no stability. Yeah, yeah. And listen, Brock, Brock Purdy doesn't have a. But, but look at that situation he's in. Yeah. Right? Shanahan's an established head coach. The offensive coordinator is an established offensive yeah. coordinator. So that team's established. Yeah. Everything was new, including the quarterback. Yeah. It, I so, couldn't, you know, I couldn't see how it would That's a great point because there's always that uh, that debate, not really so much debate, like, oh, you have a possibly a good quarterback on a, in a bad situation. Right. 
now Zach Wilson is in a great situation. To, right. So, right. so I'm happy about this. No, like you know, people will see the offensive line. They'll go gel eventually. He's got Listen, I watched that that playback. Freeze hole. Even the plays where he didn't break it, he was still fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's you know, sliding through a little so crazy. Yeah. just gotta like. And then even the giant jet preseason game. You know, with Rodgers at the helm for a couple of plays, right. that whole height, less than one second, he throws the ball. Right, right. So exactly. they gotta have plays like that for Zach Wilson. Exactly. But, but that's Aaron Rodgers' 18 years experience. I know. Knowing yeah. he knows his playbook inside and out. Yeah. He's reading the defense the way nobody else is reading the defense, and he's saying, "I'm gonna throw this quick hitch because he's gonna get eight yards, no problem." Yeah, yeah. So that that you know. You can draw it up and tell Zach to do it, mm -hmm. but if he gets up there and the defense isn't where it's supposed to be, he he, he don't know. He's not going to know how to adjust right yeah. away, like Aaron Rodgers. I mean, yeah, I mean he's I think three years in now. Yeah, this is third year. So I mean, yeah, and yeah, yes, it's been rough. It's been rough, but look what happened with Daniel Jones, right? He oh. finally got he finally got a head coach mm -hmm. with an offensive mind who knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, oh, Daniel Jones is really good. You know, yeah, coach, think, you can't discount coaching, man. Yeah, I think that's the Daniel Hackett is is an established offense coordinator. Had yeah. a terrible year as a head coach, mm -hmm. but didn't have terrible years as an offensive coordinator. So yeah. that's you know. Well, like I said, it's just going to be uh, the test is coming up Sunday, and you know, it's a start. It's a big test. I mean, yeah. Dallas is no joke. That defense is no joke. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I think within these first six games, you start the Eagles and the Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, know. a lot of tests. A lot of tests. But you know what? Like, I mean, if we go back to the Sanchez days, where I was ever a fan of Sanchez. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is what this is what it looks like now. Right. Uh, hopefully, you know, I, I want to say hopefully in you know, you know, whatever way. Right. Someone was talking today on the radio how they feel like they said that Sanchez is ahead of Zach Wilson. Right. right. Like they would take Sanchez over Zach Wilson right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I never felt comfortable with Sanchez. Yeah, really. yeah. I mean, the real Jeff fan knows that that those two or three seasons just won in overtime. They won because teams played their second string because they were in the playoffs. We had a they, great running game. Yeah, there wasn't like they were winning 30 to 3 every week. We had you know? veteran offensive yeah. linemen. We yeah. had a good defense. Mm -hmm. And we had a strong running game. He didn't have to do much. Yeah. But I tell you, I'm excited about Bruce Hall. I'm excited about Gavin Bruce Hall. And, uh, and, and defense. His, and his backup is Dalvin Cook. Like, who else? Who could say that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys so are so Now, it's really on the coaching. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like it's fantasy good. football. If you have all the top picks, you expect to, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So, I, I love the fact that there's no excuses. And, and, you know, Coach Solomon today was the first to say Zach Wilson was 5 and 1 before the offensive line and injuries and the, the people went out, you know, whatever, he's homing out. So now there's no excuses. I, I get that, but also look at the competition, they were, the teams that they were playing in those five when they won the five games in a row. I mean, I think they'll, I, no, think, yeah, they'll, yeah. I think we put Buffalo in that, in that yeah. right, I think, I'm not, I'm not positive. Yeah. But I don't think it was all top competition yeah. either. Yeah. You know? well, that's my, that's another one of my, my famous points I bring up to my friends who, uh, well, any, not, not even just friends, like people who say, Four games into the season, this is done on defense. I'm like, well, they didn't play the Chiefs. Right, right, yeah, right. you know, like, right. they didn't play the Chiefs. Like, oh, that was done on defense. He got 30 points. Like, oh, uh -huh. what a surprise, you know? So, well, sometimes defensive stats are, are skewed because you can say, oh, they're, they're number one against the pass, mm -hmm. right? Because teams don't have to throw against you because they're running. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, right. they get a big lead. Yeah. They ran the ball, yeah. you know. 30 yeah. times already for 150 yards and have a big lead, they're not going to throw the ball. So. Not, not that I'm a successful gambler or I even like gambling, but when I do bet on these football games, I look at all these miscellaneous stats. Like, well, the number of defense, but who they play. Right. You know? right. Or I like when they say, uh, this team is undefeated at home when it means out. Like, that's the, you know, that's, <laughs> that's that's the, I know, right, right. <laughs> they say these things like, you know, like, that's not going to affect my, my, my betting, you know, at all. You know, so. Well, I guess I, I guess because Aaron Rodgers started the game, does he get the win? Because he, he had <laughs> like, like he, he, had, he had nine wins in a row. On, on yeah, yeah, football. yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's true. So I don't know. Does he get the win? Yeah, that's good. Like, that's good. <laughs> so just to get this going here, and maybe get to the closing a little bit. Uh, did you have any bets going on this week? What are you any any predictions for the best bets? Oh, uh, for all the games. Well, not oh, all the games. I mean, like I, mean, I did. I did honestly. I did. Let me just I did go that. have a, a prop bet on Fanduel that almost hit. Right. It was. Um, it was uh, Stefan Diggs anytime touchdown. 
Mm -hmm. It was Jets money line. There's one other thing I can't remember. Mm -hmm. And um, Dalvin Cook scoring a touchdown. And everything hit except Dalvin Cook scoring a touchdown. And I'm like, Bruce Holt had an 85 so, yard one. Got all the way down there. How, how, much, how much did you bet? How much would you I didn't bet a lot. I bet, okay. I bet five hours, but I couldn't. But you were one. 120 or something. Yeah. Like I had a. Uh, a twenty dollar bet to it almost five hundred dollars last week. The Packers to beat the Falcons by more than one and a half points. Let me make sure I didn't see this too because I'm not into this stuff. And right? the, the Packers to win to win by at least a field goal. I think the Packers would. Then no, that's gotta be this week. Yeah, this is week. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking this. Okay. I picked. I did four picks. Only one and a half points. Yeah, that's why I think really? the Packers. Oh, definitely. Uh, I think. Let me see what else I took. I'm not gonna buy took though. Made his charges. Bengals. I definitely took the Jets to, to, to cover because they're supposed to lose by nine and a half. Oh, no, 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 no. They just beat the Giants 40 to nothing. And yes, I took I, I picked the Jets to either cover. Cover and right. not lose by you know nine and a half. Uh I think I took the Broncos over the commanders three and a half. I think the Broncos should be, they should be up on the commanders. They got a good defense. The commanders? Yeah. You know, Sean Payton and, you know. Well, they lost last week, didn't I they? I know, but they should get it back. <laughs> you know? Oh, I, I, know. I definitely took the Saints to win by more than three over the Panthers. Yeah, I like that. You know, because, I, like I don't know. They Rookie got, quarterback, yeah, yeah. I, like, I like that, I like that. Some games I won't touch. Cleveland and Pittsburgh I won't touch. Yeah, again, the division rivals yeah. and stuff. But then I will get to another week, though. Although Cleveland just took it to Cincy. It was bad weather, but... Still. Yeah, that was a, that was a really strange game. Was that a was a game we had two big quarterbacks playing like shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, that was, that right. was definitely strange. I mean, Deshaun Watson had a couple of plays, but yeah. I'm sure the, the weather played a, a really big part in that game. Yeah. But you know what? It shouldn't. Mm -hmm. It sounded like it was cold and rainy. It was warm and rainy. And it I was. feel like these guys got gloves that, you know, like stick them. Like, Did you watch the game? I, was, I, mean, I, I saw parts of it. I was watching the game. There was so many pairs that were under the phone. Yeah. Like, these guys never could wear 12 of them. Yeah, right, It was right. Like, very, very odd. It, it was odd. never like that. Like, we, yeah. you know, 20 years ago, you had a bad weather game. Yeah. They're like, oh, I don't know how many's yeah. ripping the ball, but they're still making throws and guys are still catching them. Yeah, yeah. Joe Ball went from bare hand to glove. Like, they're all getting a panic. Right, right, right. You know, right, right, right. football. You right. know, whatever. Uh, so just to finish it up, uh, I want to get your thoughts on what you think is going to happen this week with the Jets and the Dolphins. I'm sorry, the Jets, Jets and the, the Cowboys. Jets and the Cowboys. Honestly, I'm not confident. I think if our defense can do like they did against the Bills and turn the ball over, mm -hmm. then yeah, we have a shot. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. I'm not overly confident in Zach. I'm really not. Mm -hmm. So like this isn't. So so I guess the first thing is Dallas is going to have eight guys in the box. Yeah. They're gonna crowd that box and say, You're not we're not gonna let you run it, so you're gonna have to throw it. Because Zach didn't really make too many throws well, down the field. I definitely agree that's but that's gonna be the case, you know, whatever. And I'm sure that the offensive point is aware of that and right. make adjustments. I just don't think that Dallas is like an upper echelon team right now. And that being said, if the Jets were supposed to go super with Aaron Rodgers, then they should be able to beat you know, the Dallas Cowboys. Right, right. Yeah, Without right, margin, right. yeah. So, so let's see how good the defense is. Well, that's it. And let's see what Zach Wilson does. But I'm going to tell you right now, depending on what happens this week, we're going to know. If, if you're going to tell me that Zach Wilson is going to throw two picks and not throw a touchdown pass, and that, that means he's, he's not going to learn next week what he didn't learn in three years. That's it. Right, the season is right. definitely over. But, but again... It's a different coach now, too. It's a different well, that's what I'm hoping is different. It's a different so offensive coordinator. They have two or three touchdowns. Different passes, offensive yeah. coordinator, yeah. different voice of reason on the other side. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, even, I mean, there were times Zach was on the sidelines and nobody was talking to him. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he's a rookie. You know, he's a second. He, he needs somebody in his ear all the time. Yeah. All yeah. the time. Yeah. It's not like, oh, just sit there by yourself. You, you, he needs well, coaches. He needs somebody you know, to say, throw it away. <laughs> don't want to throw it backwards. I don't think they're allowed to throw it in the middle of the field. I don't think they're allowed to I know, they cut it off after a while. Because that's what he needs, like a yes. shot column or something. Yes. Like, you yeah, know, right. he, needs, he needs to be on the sidelines during the flag football game. See, throw it to me down there. <laughs> Before we wrap this up, I don't want to forget this. I almost forgot. Now, uh, it's very obvious. I don't know who would think it's that obvious that the Jets need to have another quarterback on the team. Yes. You know. So I have a list of uh, potential okay. candidates that I got like from 
from research and listening to YouTube and whatnot. Okay. And I'm going to throw some of these names at you. I already have my possible two that I would, might have on the team. But some of these guys you would be surprised you're on the list. Cam Newton. Okay. What do you think about Cam Newton? I think Cam's done. Yeah. I mean, no one even do nothing. I, he, but that's what he's there. But he's not, he's not a guy that can mentor Zach Wilson. Mm. I know they were saying that when he was there with Mac Jones, yeah. that he was great. But he's a totally different type of quarterback. Yeah. You know, maybe he could mentor, um, you know, what's his name in Baltimore? Lamar Jackson. Yeah, Lamar, yeah. Because they have yeah. similar type games. Yeah. But I, I can't see him mentoring. This is that. just like, there's so many people out there. Tom Brady's out there. Yeah. He's done. He looked done last yeah. year. And I would never want Tom Brady to take the Jets to the Super Bowl. I can't. Because that would be. Although, I don't know. I don't listen, know. Listen, the Knicks uh, fan, you know, if Michael Jordan was going to come to the yeah, Knicks, yeah, I would uh, like, yeah, all right. <laughs> something about like you know like you cheated to do it. I, I respect I respect yeah. Tom Brady everything yeah. he's done. Yeah, now, now here's one of my my personal favorite quarterbacks, and he's getting recognition. I think he's obviously a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. I think he's way better than Eli Manning. Philip Rivers. Now that would be good. Yeah, I didn't. He's think old him. and he's. he's I, I didn't, I didn't think either. But I just cheated. I, I didn't I, think I, of him. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that why I said some of these games are going to surprise you. That would be, yeah. I, I, I could see that. That yeah, would be really good. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he was close to coming back last year. Oh, was he? Somebody was going to call him. Um, oh, I forget who it was. Whose quarterback went down? And they were thinking about calling him in. Oh, I can't remember. I know someone, they were talking about it last year that they almost reached out to Philip Rivers. Oh, that's why I spoke about that yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have been two, uh, could have been me. It might have been two. Yeah, but yeah. It might have been yeah, two. Yeah, it might have been two. Yeah, it might have been two. Yeah. So uh, if if he if if he wants to come in and he's still in shape, I I, I wouldn't yeah. have a problem. With that. I can't see these guys be tired and like I, staying in shape I, I, I would, to, I would, to make I would, a comeback. I wouldn't have a problem yeah. with him coming. All right. Know. So if, if, along with the the same conversations as Brady and Rivers, we have another fossil in Matt Ryan. Well, he just retired last year. Yeah. So he should so be in plain shape. I, they were asking. Um, I think this morning on Boomer and Cotton, mm -hmm. and because Bo Boomer's friends with him, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Or doing broadcasts with him, and Boomer was like, eh, I don't think so. Yeah. So he must be talking like he's happy to be retired right but now. But let's not forget the important thing while we were discussing this, because we're supposed to have a playoff slash possible Super Bowl team. Right. Right. So we're saying if Zach Wilson falls on his face in a week or two, who can step in? Right, right. You know, and right. all of a sudden, oh, sh you know, this one I mean, way. You know, not as good as Ryan, but at least better than that. Ryan, at least, is right. only not even a year ago. Right, knows where to throw the ball, there's right. no panic, you know, whatever. Right. right. All right, next up on my list, along those lines, you'll, leave, you'll love this one. I'm not sure the, how this works. You might know better than me. Matt Stafford. Yeah, the people were talking about that. He's like in his contract, something like right, yeah. so, I, I don't know if it's his last year of his contract, and. But you got to take on that salary, and I don't know if we have that kind yeah. of room. I don't know if it'd be a trade or so. We give up. It would have to be a trade, yeah. And we would have to take on his salary, and we don't get a break from. I mean, Alan Rodgers restructured his, his contract. Yeah, yeah. We go. We don't get a break from his salary. Right, right. So I don't know that he would fit under the salary cap. Yeah. You know, so and then right. honestly, when all these guys you're bringing, they're all gonna get up to speed with this offense. Yeah. It's not like oh, just step. Yeah, right. You have to try to hold the fort until yeah. you know whatever, and, yeah. and then. Assuming that Zach wasn't doing so bad that the bench right, 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 exactly. Here's the thing you probably think of either. Jameis Winston. I didn't think of Jameis Winston. I didn't realize he was still out there. Yeah, he's out there. I mean, this is like just some information I got that uh, it's something about far fetched. To me, Jameis Winston isn't. Yeah, he never really. He, yeah. that, you know, he, he's mistake too, just like, just like Zach. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So what's he going to tell them not to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, these are my two people. Well, one of them is a little bit older, but either way, these are two people who are interesting and probably Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, I knew you were going to say that. Okay. And Nick Foles. I have him down as 30, and Nick Foles, I think, is 34. I think he's older than that. So, but to be honest two. with you, since Nick Foles won the Super Bowl, he's done, he did nothing. I know, I know. He did nothing. But and just that fact that he had the, he had the know-how to like uh, yes. perform and the, you know, whatever. Again, coaching. Right. He's with Doug right. Peterson, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm sure that had a lot to do with it too. Mm -hmm. Carson Wentz too. Carson Wentz has done nothing mm -hmm. without Doug. Pe he went. He went to. He went to Indianapolis with Frank Reich, who was his op his uh, his quarterbacks coach and offensive coordinator in yeah. Philly, and did nothing. Yeah. So, do we want these guys who have done nothing everywhere else they've gone, or do we want like a Matt Ryan or a Philip Rivers who've done it? Yeah. You know. 
I mean, I, I don't even know what we're going to get loose back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I obviously, so right now, we're right. getting the guy with the practice squad that we drafted. Yeah, boys, something right? Boyle. Yeah, yeah, Boyle, yeah, Boyle, yeah, Boyle, Boyle, I think. Yeah. Something, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. We don't even know who he is. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens. So. Yeah, no, we need the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah, so that's about it. I mean, right, we covered a lot of the bases and everything, and, uh, you know, we'll see how this all plays out. And, uh, like I said, so, uh, next week, I'm not sure who I'm going to be talking to. But, it could uh, be me again. It could know? be Eddie again. It could be the other Eddie. You know, I'm just going to keep at it. And all this right, is man. all brand new to me. And I'm just winging it and having a good time. So, good. thank you, Eddie. All right, bro. All right. <laughs> Cheers, everybody.